It's uh, like November 9th, 2015, and I'm at Spalding Hospital, Cambridge, about to go into a patient family advisory council meeting, of which I've been a member of uh, for the last couple of years. The family advisory council has been a very important part for me in my recovery from West Nile virus. It was a year ago on September of 2014 that I was invited to make a presentation at the Salem Hospital uh, and to tell my story of recovery from West Nile virus made possible by the help of Spalding Hospital and Mass General Hospital. Uh, and I told that story earlier. But now what I want to talk about is what happened in the last year since that presentation. I'm going to sit down here with my cane and I'm going to get ready to make a, a presentation to the Family Advisory Council. Um, in October of 2014, after I'd made that talk, I was approached by a very close friend, Ronald Lee Fleming, who came to me and said, Charlie, I've got end-stage renal disease, and I'm really worried, and I wondered what, what you did to recover from West Nile virus. And I thought about it, and we got together on October 27th of 2014. And at that point, I was really thinking about Eric Dishman, who had the similar problem I discovered him on the internet that he was giving a talk uh, at uh, MGH on, on the idea of Connected Health Symposium 2014, and he told his story about how he had used his own initiative to recover from a misdiagnosis of kidney disease and had gone on to, to run the whole healthcare uh, improvement system at Intel. So, in uh, you know, I began working with, with Ron Fleming, and then in, in November of 2014, uh, the Patient Family Advisory Council had a presentation from a woman named Ashley Reed, who was wanted to use what she had learned about her grandmother and, and cancer to help patients uh, and their families get from the hospital. Well, in December of 2014, working with Yannick uh, Montiel and, and Rogerio Almeida, I decided that I would set up a boot camp. I'm in the dark, so let's stop now.